basically, I'm just happy to be, I'd be happy to be a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord. Someone will tell me what that psalm is later. I don't have that memorized. I love that though. But I'm just happy to be here as one who serves. Because it means I'm in the Lord's house and in his kingdom. And that transforms us, doesn't it? It really is meant to. Meant to transform how we serve in this world. Of course we want recognition. And recognition is important. <coughs> and it's important for all of us to <coughs> thank people who serve in our church community. Say, thank you for doing that. You know, thank you to David. And I don't want to embarrass David. David and David. They're here when I opened the door this morning. They're waiting at the door. Waiting to come in and get set up. Rudy is coming in after two. Organizing things. Getting things ready for our worship. Thank you guys for doing that. So recognition is important. But that's not why they do it. And again, at the risk of embarrassing you three guys, that's not why you do it. That's not why Ken and Jane read and play music and add to our worship. You do it because you want to serve the Lord. So, let's let this passage sink deeply into our hearts. We've been invited to the wedding supper of the Lamb. We've gone through the narrow door into the kingdom. And now our response here in Luke 14, our response is to first of all honor God with our humility and then help the poor with the same humility. And when we feel pride rising up in our spirit, then we need to name it. That's one of the reasons we have confession in our weekly service. We confess together because we want to name that pride and lay it before the Lord and say, this really isn't worthy. So I want to confess it. And that's why we do that before we come to the Lord's table. Again, we confess it before we take this amazing food that he offers. So, we need to be here this morning with Jesus' words ringing in our ears and going deep into our minds. We're here at this special meal this morning because the Lord opened the door to the spiritually blind and lame. You see, we think of ourselves maybe sometimes as maybe we're not in this parable, but we actually were at some point because at some point we were the poor and the needy who weren't yet invited into the banquet. We were the poor sinners that God the host invited into his home. And now by his grace, we've come here when we found our place ready for us. So the end result of this is humility. And from there, deeper humility, deeper awareness of God's saving grace and appreciation for that. And as a humble disciple, we really should just want to bring <laughs> honor and glory to God by helping the poor and simply by being a faithful witness, a humble witness, an authentic witness, witness to his saving grace.